Yo, what's going on? All right, so we are headed downtown New Britain right now for the 16th annual car show. Check out some cars. We'll check out my artwork in the gallery because you know your boy's back in the gallery again. So let's see what's over her. <laughs> plenty of cars to see actually a lot of cars to see but we're slowly gonna make our way up to the gallery by the way today is September 24th 2022 this is gonna be like a two-part two-part vlog because October 5th we do have our uh, open reception at the gallery so we're gonna check that out in one of the other clips as well Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Kanajo? <laughs> <laughs> Head up now to the gallery. See my boy James over here painting. Yeah, he's a dope artist too. Make sure you make sure you follow this guy. What up, bro? How you doing? Oh, man. Good seeing you. Hey, how you doing? I'm James. Curtis. Oh, also Curtis. <laughs> oh, right. Hey, how's it going? I'm recording some of this. Let them know who you are. After that. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> James Damore, a local artist from New Britain, Connecticut. And uh, I'm here painting. See, I'm almost done. Check it out. All right. <laughs> look at that. Look at that artwork right there. <laughs> Reflection is killer though. Reflection is killer. Let's go see what they got. Oh, my work looks nice though, I'm just saying. There's your little sneak peek of the gallery, but we will definitely be back there on October 5th. I'm gonna stitch that all in one big vlog together so we can go around and take some more pictures of a lot of new cars came in in the last hour or so. Let's see what they have to offer. So that about wraps up the car show portion of this vlog. Next up is October 6th, 2022. The open reception for the Gallery 66 for myself, for the other artists there. And we're gonna have a good time. See you in a bit.
creativity. They're family men. They're, they're doing things at home, and, and there's other things happening outside of their creation. So they're not just sharing it with us. They're sharing it with their family and their friends and the community. My best friend, right? That's that guy. He's holding the camera. Yep. He holds another camera that he takes pictures with. He's really good at it. And seeing this man literally start from scratch, from nothing. Just picked up a camera, I'm gonna learn this. And look what's happening. In galleries, taking pictures of, of legends in concert, things of that nature, like come on, you, you can't, that, that is exponential growth. And that is just a beautiful thing to see, especially in somebody who I've just been around for so long. It not only pushes you know, myself, I'm sure it pushes the family as well to just keep striving for their goals and dreams because I mean, Stuff like this, like photography and, and different types of artistry is not a job. You're not working, you're having the time of your life, you're capturing memories, you're capturing these beautiful sentiments, these beautiful moments, and he can do that. And then some, not only with the camera, but also with uh, videography, it's not just still photography. This man, I've seen him from music, to retirement from music, to so starting a new, yeah, see his wife laughed at that part, she don't like when I say that. She don't like when he says that about retirement from music. She wants to be to do like 17 new albums. But yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> but yes, aside from that, uh, I've seen the, the growth, the culmination, and you know, I'm glad to have been an assistant on some of those those times and just learning from him and like it's it's just a beautiful thing to see. It's a beautiful thing to witness something grow, especially over such a long amount of time. Most people don't put in that type of work or that type of you know, honesty and devotion to friendships. That, that, that doesn't fly anymore. Things are, friends and things are like seasons, They're just gone. Um, so being able to watch this growth and, and just see how, how successful he's been in something that's just you know, a couple of years ago brand new, to, this guy's a pro. For lack of, there's no lack of a better term because that is the term. He's a professional photographer, and it's beautiful to have witnessed that growth from nothing to something so amazing. Yes. I want to <laughs> 
I would have been right here. Well, somewhere right in here. And yeah. He's created a space for that. And that's some of the things that I, I, I'm really but, um, more similar to what they, what they do is that they're, they're taking pictures of cars, period. What I like about the, and, and I, I may have never said this, it's like I don't understand how this car is going about 80 miles an hour, 100. How is that picture so damn crisp? Right. Mm -hmm. Because the photographer is that damn good, you know? And that right there centers me to want to know about the other things that's happening on this wall, right? Because that's a, that's a train eye. We don't do that. Mine will come out blurry. Mm -hmm. I know you're, yeah, yeah, who can testify to that? <laughs> right, most of us, right? But, um. It's like trying to get a kid in motion. What? <laughs> But the kid ain't going 100 miles an hour. Man, they got something in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> right. Your kids are. <laughs> um, but I, I thought it would be a good parallel to like go from what Unique was creating, has created in photographs, to what my friend Ace is doing. And, and, and they're smaller, and I have to say that because that's what he's thinking, but smaller means more detail. We're so impressed with some of the triangles and like I don't know if you intentionally did this for my eye as a curator I'm looking at geometrical shapes mm -hmm. and and you know so says my build to the degree that I have <laughs> this is um, an absolutely perfect uh, uh, presentation of a, of a photograph or, or if it was painted because there are so many good things about drawing your eye. And I don't know if your intentions were all that, or well, you were like, oh, this is what I'm a crop. <laughs> but I adore this. Out of all of them, this is far better, better my favorite. It just makes me want to be in this car. I don't know how you guys feel about it, right? I don't know about the speed of it. I'm not a car enthusiast, let me just say that. I do the exhibit, but I don't have much knowledge about cars. And I count on the exhibit to kind of, you know, educate me, you know, through um, create, creativity, through like the, the, like this must be real important, right? Is the car worth a lot? Yes. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought, but did I know? And that's part of the, um, the transcending theme from the photographer to the, to the curator, is that there's a message that's unspoken. You and I have never talked about your work, but I've, I've watched it enough to know that there's some stuff going on here that I should probably pay attention to. Like, this car must be expensive. And where are you? Uh, Manhattan. Manhattan? Yeah. Do people know you're taking pictures of this car? Because <laughs> I feel like you in the back of the, of the back in the, in the, that like, uh, behind the city bike. Like, <laughs> this is, like, they told you no. And you, you decide, like, no is not the answer. <laughs> Because I see the, the outside things that surround it. But you've given us a bullseye, you know, uh, uh, you, we're in your camera. Yes. We're in his camera, right? This, this is exactly what he sees. Because my camera would have been like, oh, hell with this. Yours too, right? Mm -hmm. But the importance of this to accentuate that, he understood that. And that's what I appreciate. And that's what it cre creativity and the, and the emotion and all those things that you want us to feel. Like this could have been an ordinary car, but I feel something behind the way you photograph it. Right? Appreciate Enough of me and more you. <laughs> this is my friend. I can go on and on because I'm just excited about the entire exhibit. But talk about some of the inspirations, what was going on. I know you do more car shows than all of us. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And some yeah. things are more favorite for certain reasons. So. Yeah. I'm going to tell this, tell this to you here. So, uh, I did grow up going to car shows with my father, and you know, I've continued that. Every weekend I'm usually at a car show. Um, you know, I enjoy it, it's fun. Um, I started going out to Lime Rock in the, the northwest corner of the state. It's like a different country, you know, like uh, it's really beautiful up there. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff to see. They have, so, so many different types of car races and car shows up there. It's really a neat place. There's only a few places like it in the country, and, and that's where I'm spending most of my weekends <laughs> in the summer now. It's really nice. 
Uh, so um, almost all of them were taking the Lime Rock, um, New York City and um, Torrington. But um, uh, yeah, it's a lot of, I, I do, I love to car, maybe not Torrington, what is that? Terry Hill, sorry, T-Town. Um, I do, I love cars. So, yeah, if you fall, if you, I don't, I'm not a stalker. If you want to find them on Facebook, <laughs> there is a lot of photographs of cars. I think you must take hundreds of them. Yeah, yeah, for, for sure. every event you have. Yeah. Because I was thinking about something to like highlight some of you, what you're doing, and I couldn't pick between. Yeah, I mean, like I think like the the most recent one I went to was the one with the blue Porsche there, and it was. What makes that car special? Thousand pictures I walked away with. You know. What makes that car so special? It wasn't so. I like I like vintage Porsches. I'll always have. Um, it was I liked of the cars that were racing in that particular race. That was my my favorite one. Did it did it did it place? Uh, no, I don't think it did. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's still your favorite. So the loop. Yeah, 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 no. It's always the winner because I see the colors in this. The yeah. clouds. I can go on and on about some of the editing too. While you guys look at it, this was photography. Just to you know how it looked. Initially, these guys took some time to add it to a more um, presentational style. So, think in terms of it's not just not a picture. It is it re requires some editing. Well, uh, well, I thank you for asking me to join the show. It was, it was exciting because um, I never actually painted cars. I have a love of cars, but it's not like my go-to thing. I'm random with paintings. I'll paint Halloween paintings to scenery to. Um, pets and past loved ones. I do a lot of commission work. But um, for this, I got into cars. I'm like, oh, you know what? I want to make classic cars. So uh, I don't have my favorite one, but looking into classic cars, I, I found a lot of favorites. Um, and I only painted three. So uh, the Charger was my first painting out of the theme, the bunch that I created. I just love the stance. I love how it looks. I can't even see the headlights. So I'm like, oh, I got to paint that one. Like, I want to have this car now. So through these paintings, I. Uh, Gained a new love for cars that I already had, but even more now. And um, you know, the angles, it's like they're sexy, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Even if you're not into cars, you can still appreciate it. Right. Um, so I wanna create a theme. Something I imagine that would go into maybe someone's uh, garage that's all done up, you know, or maybe a car shop that might match those colors. It would still look great even in a house, like a man cave or a bedroom or anything, you know? I put these up on my, uh, in my living room and it still looked good. I was like, oh yeah, okay. But because they're classy in a sense, how I painted it. I like to imagine uh, someone of all different audiences could appreciate and maybe buy. Um, I don't usually, well, last time I had a gallery here, I had paintings out and I didn't have the intent to sell any. But these, I do have the intention to sell. So um, I'm looking, and hopefully they'll sell quick. Um, if anybody's interested, or you know anybody that might be interested, please share. Because uh, now I left my job at 15 years to do this. Uh, 24/7, or you know, as much as I could, of course, full time. Um, and it's not easy, but I feel like I have a, a great talent that I just need to turn into a business. So uh, I'm just going to be throughout the next, you know, few years or however long it takes me. I feel like I'm finally on my right path as an artist, and that's what my calling is. So no matter what, I'm just going to stick to it, even though like people might be like, "No, you got to get a real job. You got to do this." But like, this is my passion. You don't have to be a famous artist to make a living out of something you love. And I'm a big believer in that. And I'm gonna. Prove the ones wrong if I have to, but I'm just going to do what you know. Keep competing against myself to do better and better. So yeah, so I created these. This is the uh, the charger. I got the front and backs of each one, um, and I, I'm selling them in a set. Um, that's the GTO, and I named this one Boss, right? And bosses are in charge. So this is the charger. This is the GTO, the Go. If you don't know, that's that's the uh, alias. You got to know the you got to know the GTO if anything out of all these cars. But uh, one that I really like, this might be my favorite, is the, uh, the Shelby, Shelby from Gone in 60 Seconds. That's why I base it off of. And uh, this is Eleanor. So this Eleanor. one's, of course, titled yes, Eleanor. Eleanor. Yeah, uh, if you can't tell. So that's a beautiful car. And, um, you know, it might be more beautiful to uh, own it, but hey, if you can buy it, you still have it this way instead. So that's basically what um, I'm doing I'm all about. Thank you uh, for mentioning the New Britain City Hall right here. You have a chance. I encourage you guys to check it out. Uh, as soon as you walk into City Hall, you know you take the left, there's a little hallway. If you go down that hallway, you'll see this painting I made. It took me six months to make. And I uh, won a contest of uh, New Britain, 150th anniversary of New Britain. 
So I took all the themes of New Britain and I tried to make it into one collage, but my version of a collage. So if you didn't get a chance to check this out, check it out. And in person, it's, it's even more beautiful. It's eight feet long. I made the canvas, everything. And then I messed it up and ripped a hole in it and I had to redo it. But um, I, I didn't want to just glue it, I wanted to do it the right way. So I stayed up real late, getting it done. Um, and, and real quick about this, we're in the beehive. We're the worker bees of New Britain. And uh, there's seven bees who represent the seven bees on the New Britain seal, which represent the seven companies that started in New Britain. So I try to create a lot of history into this. So uh, yeah, so I encourage you guys to check that out. Thank you guys for coming and checking this out and listening to me explain it. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.